Randolph and I and the entire team here at Keyboard Exchange International would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Randolph, we're only like just about 10 days away or, or less, yeah, seven good. days away from Christmas. Yes. So for those of you that might have wanted to get a B3 for Christmas, uh, feel free to call us. We'll be working here all next week except for Christmas Day. And uh, you can still place your order, but it's too late to have it delivered before Christmas, it would seem. At any rate, Randolph, I always love the way you play. Today you were using some presets, I, I seem to hear. Absolutely, yeah. We don't often get a chance to hear the different factory set presets, but uh, those are there and they've been prepared by the factory to give folks a, a wide variety of different voices and sounds. I prefer to use just the B flat and the B, but what is your preference? And just kind of tell folks and let them, let them hear what you have to say about that, please. Well, usually I use uh, B, flat, B flat and B myself, but um, most recently I've been experimenting with some of the different settings of, actually one of my, uh, I would say, role models that I look up to, he uses a lot of presets uh, oh, by okay. the name of uh, Rudolph Stanfield out of Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, he used a lot of presets in his music and it just creates a different sound that you wouldn't usually think of creating with your draw bars on your own. Interesting. You know, the factory uh, had some great talented musicians that worked for them and they came in and set those presets using little wires in the back of the organ and there's actually instructions inside the organ for those that would like to change their settings themselves. Otherwise, they can just remain uh, what the factory experts set them at, but you have the ability to loosen some screws, move some wires, exactly. and every time I do it, I have to go read the instructions, and I'm sitting there for maybe 10 minutes and say, ah, now I get it. And one of the things uh, that, uh, that Rudolph Stanfield mentioned in one of his videos, he mentioned the fact that he, have, he actually did the same thing. He has he set the preset in the back to his liking mm -hmm. to where even from a maintenance point of view he don't have to worry about draw bars breaking interesting yeah interesting point the only thing that's not available on the presets i believe is the percussion the percussion yeah uh rudolph stanfield rudolph stanfield out of detroit michigan that's a nice shout out look right in the camera and <laughs> say hello to him hello rudolph stanfield one of my role models yeah. wow that's 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 great and uh Mr. Stanfield, right? Yes, sir. Mr. Stanfield, Minister Stanfield, uh, please also consider this to be an invitation. If Since Randolph speaks so highly of you, why don't you come on down for a Florida vacation and stop in and make some videos with us if you ever have the opportunity. Consider this to be uh, an invitation. We would love to meet you and have you make videos with us. And actually, Randolph, we really love it when a uh, lot of different musicians come and yeah. visit us. Oh, yeah. You know, it shows the variety of styles, the uh, variety of sounds available from the instrument. And I love the point you made today about the uh, draw bars having less uh, maintenance required by using your presets. Yeah, that's, preset. that's pretty cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, folks, it's coming to the end of 2019. Uh, if you like this video, what do we ask them to do, Randolph? If they like something? Like, share, comment. Love, share, comment. <laughs> and click the little bell. Click the little Press bell. Press the little bell. For the notifications. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we love it when uh, people say they like what we're doing here, they f if they find it informative. And Randolph's going to start playing here in just a moment. Uh, what's the name of that song? This is Christmas? This, this Christmas? Christmas? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, we should tell them a little bit about this particular 1966 vintage B3. Number 384? 384. 384. Uh, it also is foam free. Which certified foam free. <laughs> thank you. Certified. That means when we put our little sticker on there, that means we took these keyboards out of the Orion, took out that foam before it can cause damage and make sure that somebody in five years, ten years, fifty years doesn't have problems with that factory installed foam. So that's what we do uh, and then we call it certified foam free. It's necessary on half the production cycle from 1964 and a half to the very end in 1974. So it's a very important thing that we're doing here to help preserve these instruments. 
So we're going to have some big sales coming up in the new year, soon to be announced. Randolph and I are working on the uh, highlights from the 2019 okay. videos that was com complete with bloopers. <laughs> I think I had some of the biggest bloopers, so I might be featured more than you. <laughs> but at any rate, we look forward to sharing that with you all. And without further ado, I give you Mr. Randolph Carter. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 